I've got a patient who's unfasted and deteriorating on the ward outside of a theater or a critical care environment. I really want a device that potentially people who aren't as trained in intubation can still do and still insert pretty safely. So now if I use a second generation LMA like the iGel, it's pretty easy to insert. I can use high pressures because you know, occasionally the patient might be sick with sick lungs, obstructive or restrictive lung disease or obesity. So I can generate higher pressures to create some safe ventilation oxygenation. But also if the patient's unfast and they do regurgitate, hopefully that regurgitant liquid will go through that gastric tube and then give me an indication. I'll also be able to put a small nasogastric tube through there, allowing me to drain that stomach. So there's a few advantages with these second generation LMAs. Now, these aren't necessarily borne out in studies. It makes good sense that they would provide an advantage, but it'd take really large numbers in randomized controlled trials to prove absolutely definitively that this is the case.